if Islam is the best religion, then why you find most of the terrorists are Muslim, most of the robbers are Muslim, most of the people who cheat are Muslims? Why? If Islam is the best religion, then why do you see that the Muslims are the worst? The reply to this question is that the, one of the major factors for this impression that all the terrorists are Muslims, the impression that most of the people who cheat are Muslims, the most of the people who bribe are Muslims is the media. About five years back, when I was called in the same organization, Dubai Holy Quran International Award for the second time, and the patronage of Sheikh Muhammad Rashid Maktoum, I had given the talk in my second day, Media and Islam, War a Peace. And I described in detail what is the strategy of the media to malign Islam. And I also gave a talk, Islam, the solution to the problems of humanity. The media says Islam is the problem for humanity. Actually, Islam is the solution for the problems of humanity. That's why the tagline of the Peace TV, the solution for humanity. That means Islam is the solution for humanity. What does the media do? Time will not permit me to give in detail. I'll just wind up man's in a couple of minutes. What does the media do? Media picks up the black sheep of the community and they portray as though they're exemplary Muslims. See, we have black sheep in the community. We do have many Muslims who are namesake Muslims. They aren't practicing Islam. They pick them up and they portray as though they're exemplary Muslims. Many a time the media, they quote something of the Quran, they quote out of context. Whenever they get information, they malign the Muslims. For example, we know in 1996, the Oklahoma bombing, it, at that time, it was the biggest attack on American soil. More than 100 people were killed. 166 people were killed. It came as headlines. Middle East conspiracy. Middle East conspiracy. Muslims to blame. Muslims to blame. Headline for days and weeks together. Later on when they came to know it were two American soldiers, it comes once and vanishes. When they don't know the culprit, it comes for days as headlines. When they come to know the real culprit, one or two days, the news goes out. Why? In India, we have, you know, 50-year-old Muslim Arab marrying 18-year-old girl. Headlines. When 50-year-old non-Muslim rapes a 6-year-old girl, it comes in news briefs. The 50-year-old Arab Muslim, he's taking permission and marrying a girl with her will, with the will of the parents. It doesn't go down the throat of the media. But when a 50-year-old non-Muslim rapes a 6-year-old girl, it comes in news briefs. Why? Same example. Couple of weeks back, there was a bomb blast in Pune, German bakery. Nine people were killed. Suspect, Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. Suspect, huh? suspect. No 100% proof. Same day, the Maoists, they killed 16 policemen. Not civilians. Policemen, huh? Maoist, no, it comes in news brief. Muslim suspect, nine civilians killed, 16 policemen killed by Maoist, comes in news briefs. Ajib. They know the people who killed, not civilians. They have got cannons, rocket launchers. They bombard the full police station, comes in news brief. They don't know who did the Pune bomb blast. Muslim, Muslim suspect. And it's continuously there for many days. They don't know who did it. Who they know did it because it's a Maoist, communist, non-Muslim news briefs. Or maybe, you know, front page, some papers, but below. And it vanishes out of the media. So the major cause is the media. Media and Islam, war or peace. Unfortunately, Muslims are very weak in media. Very weak. We may have good media about song channel, dance channel, many. But Islamic channels 
unfortunately unfortunately so i say yes i do know there are black sheep in the community but yet with all the black sheep yet as a whole the muslims are the biggest teetotalers in the world i know some muslims who can drink the non muslim under the table but as a whole the biggest community of teetotalers in the world are muslims the biggest community as a whole that give charity they are muslims there is no non muslim no human being in the world who can show a candle to a practicing muslim as far as modesty is concerned as far as sobriety is concerned as far as human values are concerned as far as ethics are concerned no human being can show a candle to a practicing muslim as far as modesty is concerned as far as sobriety is concerned as far as human values are concerned as far as ethics are concerned and i always give the example suppose you want to judge how good a car is and latest 600 you know s model of mercedes is launched in the market 2010 model you want to test the car you put behind the car behind the steering wheel a driver who does not know how to drive and he bangs up the car he has an accident who will you blame will you blame the car or the driver driver if you want to know how good the car is you have to know the specification what is the pickup what are the safety measures what is the ratio what is the average of the car and the brake locking system look at the specification and really if you want to test drive the car put behind the steering wheel an expert driver if you really want to know about islam don't look at the muslims look at the scriptures the glorious quran and the sahih hadith don't look at me don't look at the muslims if you really want to test drive a car put behind the steering wheel an expert driver the best exemplary muslim you can find is prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam read his sira you will find he is the best exemplary muslim and the best exemplary human being that has lived that's the reason i say that understand the religion by looking at the scriptures and when you read the scriptures the authentic sources the quran and sahih hadith you will really appreciate islam